I love this one. This is Rockwood 2306 here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And for you YouTubers at home, on your phones, wherever you may be, I leave you a link in the video description if you like what you see to check pricing and availability. Also, you'll find things like tank capacities, links, and all kinds of good stuff in that link for you. Um, not everybody needs the 35 foot four slide 9,000 pound mega bunkhouse. Some people just want to go do some real small scale casual camping or frankly they just don't want to tow something that big or maybe their vehicle can. That's where this guy comes in. This is an all aluminum constructed uh, ultralight. Rockwood is the top level lightweight on the market in terms of equipment and amenities and oh my gosh did the wind just pick up. I hope that's not tearing up the microphone. Um, there are some brands that'll do some of the things you see here. Nobody does all of these things, and some brands do none of these things. And that is why overall, Rockwood is the best selling lightweight on the market, period. Uh, they are just, that. this is all they do. They build lightweights and that's it. In this class, you don't usually get 50% larger propane tanks. You don't usually get the higher grade power tongue jack and power awnings with LED lights. You usually get a base model. Um, Rockwood does not use base model appliances. If you look at it on a spec sheet, someone's going to say, well, this other one has a power tongue jack. It's not the 9000 series. It doesn't move as fast and last as long. Um, all aluminum framed. They recently changed over to a non-laminated plywood decked um, two and three quarter inch aluminum studded floor. The aluminum studs run longitudinally for structural purposes. What they found is they were not increasing um, structure. They were only uh, increasing cost without the decrease in weight. By going to the non-laminated floor, they were able to upgrade some interior amenities and give you more, basically, in the same trailer without a, a big price increase. So. A lot of trailers have laminated sidewalls, start pounding on the roof, the rear walls, you're going to see Rockwoods pound back. Uh, we like to dress these up. We went with the full um, skin color package on this versus a traditional white skin to give you a kind of a look. Plain white, nice oyster or cream or whatever you want to call it. Now they have done an amazing job of opening up every little square inch of outside storage space they could. And Rockwood was the very first, and you start to see other brands copy this now, to come up with pass-through storage. Uh, in a Murphy bed model, which traditionally did not exist before due to the limitations of the Murphy bed. Um, I, f I always forget to put that in there. A little, uh, you know, silverware uh, separator there is pretty handy. Um, if you look, this is a nice way to get to see the cabinets here. These, uh, the cabinets you can see are pocket screwed together, not stapled, and all your cabinet doors are all hardwood so that you can bang on them all day long and they last a long time. Um, the suspension is a best-in-class, unparalleled, unmatched feature. No one else even matches this. Not just torsion rubber ride axles, but a Torflex independent suspension. Each wheel can move independently. They don't rock back and forth hooked together. That means that you have up to six inches of independent wheel travel, double industry standard. Uh, you also have superior shock absorption and turning and handling, best-in-class ride and handling. You're looking at $500 more per axle in your investment. That is why I call Rockwoods the retirement grade because they do the things that nobody else does. Nobody. Now up here, you're going to see uh, on top of your big roof vent fan, you have the big Max Air vent cover so that you can leave that thing open in the rain. Um, you also have outside shower, utility flush, all that stuff. We have upgraded to a power running here. This is pretty similar to how we're going to equip these most of the time. Occasionally, our Rockwoods might look a little different from this. Um, the, uh, I mentioned power awning does have the LED lighting. That's an upgrade on here over the manual. Your TV that's inside, the TV that comes with the camper, dismounts and can mount out here next to your grilling station, which includes both your big grill, as you see in the box over here that doesn't show you much, as well as a... Uh, um, a little table that you can set next to it so that you have a grill and a little table for your platter. TV hookups, grill, tailgating station, thing like an outside kitchen under your awning all protected. Double entry step, small campers will occasionally have only single entry steps and we do have nicer friction hinge doors so that they just catch themselves even on a windy day like that. Nobody ever cries about a bigger entry handle. Um, it is solar prepped, that is when I say solar prepped though, the caveat there is like any RV, um, basically they come with uh, you know solar trickle charge prep, not like oh my gosh I'm going to run my microwave on, an air, uh, on a solar panel. Little campers like this do not usually have luxury fifth wheel one switch whole cabin LED lighting. Little campers like this don't usually have 
d uh, double ducted centralized air conditioner. There's actually two AC runs down this thing for massive airflow. They don't usually have a fully laminated arched ceiling inside. But these are standards in a Rockwood. They go above and beyond. Now this is the uh, this is the you know focal point of this floor plan is this Murphy bed up front because what it gives us in a 23 foot box is a nice seating arrangement during the day with nice living space that you can enjoy with the ability to still have a full queen bed up front. Very handy and it's super super easy to manipulate even with just the one hand here. This is all it takes to set her up. Now this is all an easy lift strut assisted bed so it's not difficult at all and you can see that's all it takes. You now have a walk around queen bed. That's a Serta mattress just like the bigger Rockwoods. You're just in a smaller package. Rockwood only builds things one way. They don't build the little campers different from the big ones. It's only a difference in amenities. The bigger campers from Rockwood just have more stuff basically. This is equipped uh, or pardon me built the exact same uh, fashion. So when you're done with it Throw it up against the wall, flip your sofa back in place, and even with just one hand, you can see how easy that is to manipulate. Now you can lift the front of that sofa face up to get to the pass-through storage, either inside or outside. And uh, so, someone contacted me the other day and I was like, hey, how, how do you like your Murphy bed that you bought? He said, I love it. It acts like my gun safe down here. I put some mounts on the floor, and this way people don't really know what I have under here. I use that for my fishing poles and all my outdoorsy stuff. I'm like, dude, that's awesome. I love how everybody has a different way to look at this. Now, just like a normal full bedroom, you've got bedside stands. There are outlets up next to the head for your CPAP machines and whatnot. I do like the dedicated, uh, almost like hidden bedroom light switch that we have right here. You've got drawers for your socks and undies and all that good stuff. Um, charging stations on both sides of the bed as well, so you can run your breathing machines and everything you need. Now, because they had to leave room for the bed to open up, that means you have a nice wide open walkway, and have you noticed there's not a scrap of carpet in here? This is an easy, clean model. Both sides of your dinette have these easy access drawers to get to all that storage right there. And you'll see that all your drawers and rockwoods are all plywood constructed. They're not particle board with a sticker wrap. Um, your table can fold down into a dinette, or pff, stupid, it can fold down into a sleeper, or it can go outside as a picnic table. Of course it can fold into a dinette, that makes no sense. <laughs> Again, you're going to see just nicer construction up here. The average person working at Rockwood, last I, last I checked, uh, your average guy's been there for like 14 years. That is way above industry standard, like to the, like six or seven magnitudes longer than average. Um, they have third generation people working at Rockwood. They'll have the young kids on the line who uh, run the parts to like dad and big brother who are on the production area who actually do a lot of the, uh, the big manual labor. Then in the cabinet shop where it takes a level of precision, you'll often find like, you know, um, older dad or grandpa or something like that building the cabinetry. It's, it's just incredible. Rockwood is one of the places that uh, laborers want to try to get into. It's not the place they, they ch uh, have to work. It's the place they choose. Now, your TV does swing out here, so you can uh, have easy viewing. It can also kick over to face the bunks at night if you want to do that. Um, the IRV stereo, this is all high-def capable and wired, and that is the difference is you have a high-def input here if you choose to uh, um, bring along like a Blu-ray player or something like that. This is called the Jasper Decor. By the way, this is like a, a, a near black leatherette with the light accents. We've contrasted that with a lighter maple wood and the very warm and welcoming wood print floor, the plank print flooring. All of the cosmetics of this thing could be different from the one that we have in stock. Keep that in mind. Usually, small campers don't give you strutted overhead doors. And you see the Rockwood doesn't just do that, they give you double struts so that you don't have to juggle the door open with your head. Standard, this is some of the stuff I was telling you that they, by, by switching up their floor construction, they give you more in the kitchen here than ever before without additional cost. They went to a solid surface countertop, standard. That means it's waterproof. And notice that even the, the kitchen counter extension matches. By being waterproof, they could recess the stove in the sink. And now we have a flush mounted prep space right here. So this little camper that otherwise would have no functional countertop room suddenly has plenty. We decided we are not going to add an oven to this because we felt that all of that storage right there was worth more. Very few people use ovens and I stand behind that decision. In a little camper like this, you need storage space first and foremost. Very few people actually cook in an oven, especially in a little camper. So instead of that, we gain all of this 
extra storage space on top of the storage that is already here as a matter of happenstance. So, uh, you know, you've got great storage capacity in this little trailer, and the storage isn't done because, let me shut this and get over there. Do, 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 do. You've now got a floor to ceiling pantry or closet, whatever you need it to be, it can be, and there's even an extra little uh, box down there. The storage below the bunk actually can pass through from inside to outside, and notice that they're actually still including this nice ladder for you that nobody else does, as just primarily a cost factor. I've asked some manufacturers why they don't give you ladders, and a couple of the guys have said, well, our lawyers won't let us, and I hate to say that I can understand how that's true, but Rockwood does it. Obviously, Rockwood's lawyers don't care, and it, it gives, it's just another thing they've added here that the other brands don't. And everybody loves the little fluffy skin on the bunks. I also like that they give you windows for both bunks and lights for both bunks. Most brands don't do that because windows and lights are expensive in the camping business. And before I forget, yes, there is a big six cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. I just always end up hiding it behind the door and I forget. But look at the detail stuff like that little door stopper so that your handle doesn't bash up the uh, fridge. Just extra stuff. Rockwood does all the extra things. We've got the skylight in the shower. We have a shower uh, protection panel with handy little like shampoo caddy and stuff that the other guys don't do. We have a foot flush toilet and uh, we have a great counter space here as well as uh, a Max Air vent fan. I mentioned that outside but you get the bigger more powerful whole house venting fan and that is exactly why, Oop, let me get this ladder out of the way, this door is uh, vented right here so that you can push and pull air through this bathroom even when it's closed to give everybody privacy yet airflow if you don't want to constantly run the AC. So, We've talked about a lot of things, and there's still more to talk about, and I can't possibly cover every single thing in every single video here. This video is here to give you some ideas, and if you got an idea that maybe you could like camping in this Rockwood, all I ask, after all this fun and effort here, is just the opportunity to earn your business. With no business, there can be no videos that I know a lot of you folks enjoy. Um, so give us a call, 800-256-5196. We are Halid RV, Coldwater, Michigan. We're family owned and operated. I'm one of the owner's sons. My brother's our service manager. My dad runs the place actively. I mean, we're involved. We're not a big chain store with lawyers on retainer. This is our family's operation. That is my family's name in the back of every bumper sticker that leaves here. So I'm interested. We're interested in earning your business and doing it the right way. You give us a chance and you're gonna see why we are the largest independent dealer in one of the largest states for RV sales. It's not an accident. It's a lot of hard work. So take care, stay safe, have fun and happy camping, everyone.